Good morning. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame from Chicago. And today I'm going to talk about the universal template as we're in these universal energies and reconnecting to source. Uh, there's quite a bit going on and everyone's at sort of different levels with this and yet it is still occurring at the universal level and you might say, well, you know, I don't, I don't really know what that is. I'm going to walk through some things here to try and explain to you what is occurring for many of you and what will be occurring for many more twins as they step closer and closer into their union. Um, you and your twin sometimes have felt that you have one foot in the fourth dimensional level where we live right now and one foot in, say, the fifth. And while you may have sometimes felt your twin is at a different level than you, your twin actually has a sixth dimensional connection. This is where you co-create together. You live in the fifth in your light bodies, or you will, you're preparing to. Some of you have, some of you have lived in a fifth dimensional type of environment uh, in Atlantis, in Lemuria. Some of you, this really resonates with you in the Pallades, in Sirius. What's been occurring though is in order to get to this, we have this miasm of distorted patriarchal energies and there's quite a bit of it and we're seeing a breakdown of it though. This is making it extremely difficult for people who are uh, indigo from the indigo ray because our directive when we came in on these rays was to break up systems. A lot of times that meant being a warrior, a spiritual warrior for God. Uh, are some of the things people feel for themselves, particularly males of both genders. And this is uh, not about the gender right now, but it's across the board through the whole se sexual orientation spectrum. What you have is a breakdown at many levels of these that have distorted us getting through to our co-creative uh, truth with each other. So you're supposed to create with your twin. Well, how can you do that? Guess what? Your twin, the lovely entity, half of entity that your twin is, is breaking through this. You're holding the vision of you living and creating together. What you also probably are not aware of is that many of us have broken through this. We are connecting with sixth dimensional consciousness. We're connecting with sixth dimensional entities who are our guides and who are helping us. So some of you may also be experiencing a shift in your guidance. You may have the guide that's been with you for a long time. You may have another one who comes in as sort of a specialist. They'll come in do something with you and then you may not uh, see or hear from that entity for a while or maybe ever again at this level. What you will find is that your guides will be seeing if you know what you know what you know. And for a lot of us, this amounts to is history repeating itself and really discerning what does this mean. And I think we can see with some of the world events that history is repeating itself. There's history in the making right now in Kiev, in the Ukraine. There's history in the making in Russia. There's history in the making in many other parts of the world, um, in South America, uh, in Cyprus. There's a whole bunch happening that has already started in Egypt and in some of the other countries. And sometimes they're mini revolutions and sometimes they're pretty big. And they can be uh, quite intense. What we bear 
as Twin Flames is that we bear the responsibility of continuing the love. We fuel these changes with our love, our love for each other. And so it's incumbent on us to understand that we're here to be the lovers. We're not necessarily here to continue engaging in the breakdown, busting systems. And you have to act from the heart. Your heart is steering you now, not your head. Although it may seem that way at times, and it's, it's a hard dance to do. This isn't easy, but if you always check with your heart, you will know what to do. And that means being still, finding that place of stillness to get your direction, even if it's moment by moment. You have to get your direction because you're a part of this. You are a part of a divine plan here, and you are bringing something to the table. Now, there are people, all types of angelics who are here, and while I do speak primarily to a woman twin flames because that's who I am and so I have a direct experience of this, there's so many types of entities, there's so many angelics here in human bodies. We're all in these human bodies, but we're all here doing something. And if you ask, it will be shown to you or revealed to you who's around you supporting you. I've had some of the little boys in my neighborhood revealed to me as holders of the Divine Masculine, the really light Divine Masculine that's coming from this area, from the sixth dimension. It's not the patriarchal stuff. Uh, many governments are very top-heavy with this heavy patriarchal stuff, and it's forcing us to look at what do we value. Do we value the love? Do we value the children? Do we value our health? Do we value human rights? Do we value marriage in all its forms? Because people who get married do love each other. And we're actually breaking down some of those old things. You know, people getting married for convenience or for uh, immigration purposes or for, uh, it, there's people who get married for revenge. There's people who get married because they don't know what else to do. And they haven't relearned how to trust. They haven't connected. This is the template at the universal level for reconnecting to source. Now, what are some of the components of this that we're getting rid of? Well, on the masculine side, it's things like but it's the principle of the thing. You're going to make your point no matter what you have to do. You'll make it beyond all reason. This is how people with, it's the principle of the thing in this patriarchal uh, mindset are still operating. They're still operating from an old mental body while their consciousness is being expanded. What that does is it stretches them out and they're, they're left with only pieces of it. They're left with pieces that tell them, their ego will tell them, you need to make a stand here. You have to prove your point. It's the principle of the thing. Now you also get this on the feminine side, where the feminine, for maybe a long time, and I'm talking eons of time here, not just this lifetime. You're talking about the feminine saying, I I'm, nobody sees me, I'm unacknowledged. Nobody's hearing me. Nobody hears what I have to say. I'm disrespected. I'm a doormat. They, they are treating me this way. And now she will get very angry. And it takes a lot of balancing to balance what is the right anger to push you off of situations and what is the anger that is completely irrational and veer off into something else. Now, as we're doing this, the template is being formed and it's being gifted to people. And there are people from the other angelic uh, realms, I'll say, the other angelic realms, who are here also to receive. They're the elderly people. They're the children. We're all tucked away in these spots, and not everyone is going to pop up and say, oh, I'm a holder, oh, I'm a frequency there, oh, I'm a... Uh, a transporter, I'm a transmuter. 
not everyone's aware of it, and yet they're doing it. We all have a spiritual job. We all have something of an endeavor here at this level. And a lot of children are in school, and yet their spirit is just as huge as yours, and they're doing things. People in nursing homes are still doing things on a spiritual level. And you'll see this. You'll see this with people who, you know, they're right on the brink. They're having a health crisis or they're in the hospital and they come out and, you know, what's happening with this. That is the love energies emanating from source at the universal level that are enabling us to heal in gentler softer ways. We could not do this ascension by sending a lightning bolt to the entire planet. It's happening in waves. It's happening in a sequence. It's happening gently. It's happening as people can handle it and receive it so that they don't have nervous breakdowns. There is another thing that's occurring, which is that you are all connecting in your oneness to the ninth dimension. And this is where twins live as a one being. And you might say, what's a one being? Well, a one being is someone who they've never split themselves. They've never split their soul and twixt it in twain or cut it in half or however you perceive it. They've never separated their soul and from their soul. So you have people here at the earth level, you'll have one twin, and you'll have another twin, and these connections, one's holding the fifth, the other one's holding the sixth, they will merge together and go to the fifth, okay? but yet you still have the ability to separate your light body. You each have a light body. But we're also making connections to the ninth. And this is where us twins live as one beings. So you may have a, you will have a perception of yourself when you go here that you've merged, you've fully merged your essence together, but you will also be merging and pulling from source all the way here at this level where we live, because it needs to get into the molecular structure in order to ripple it out to the entire planet. There's an entire domino ripple effect that occurs here. So there are those of us, and some of them are going to be people watching, and some of um, this won't really resonate, but it will answer some of your questions as to why it seems like you're waiting. Why am I waiting and why am I waiting and waiting? Enough already. I, I need to get to this. Well, you'll get to it when we have completed the universal template and we are taking this all the way to the edge of the universe where we did originate from. We emanated from source. We are taking this all the way out, edge of the universe to every dimension. We've connected, 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 and we're pulling all those connections back right here. What are you pulling in? You're scooping up the love. You are taking the love that you are, because you are multidimensional, and you're pulling it into your body. Now, how do you ground this? You ground it by making love to yourself or making love with your twin if you're with your twin. If you're not with your twin, you make love with yourself by yourself, and you will be guided through your body feeling. Your body has an entire body within it. You also have the etheric body that resides about a half an inch within. And this is what is being connected. It's here 
and it's here. So you're connecting it within you and outside of you. There's quite a bit happening. There's a lot being done here. Although it may not appear to be safe, there's a lot being done to make it safe for us angelic, for love to be safe on this planet, without people killing you or hurting you, for speaking your truth, for feeling something that you feel, for feeling love for some person. And it, that's been a real threat to us. It hasn't been safe here. It hasn't been safe for gentle people. It hasn't been safe for... Uh, other types of entities. You have a whole mixed bag of, of people here here to receive their blueprints for their new bodies and to receive the templating for new relationships. How are you relating at the universal level? You have to know how to let things go. You have to know how to be the love. You have to know in your heart what direction to take. You know, do I choose this? Do I interact with this person? Do I go there? Is it feeling like I should go to that party? Um, is it feeling like today's the day to go shopping? Or should I just stay home? These are sometimes last minute decisions that you're going to have to shift with those, those waves because those waves are carrying you to an optimal place. I'm going to talk a little bit here about uh, destiny and free will because as we can see, history is repeating itself. Your destiny is not to be a part of that history. Your destiny is to be in love and to have abundance in all forms. There are some people who have thrown in the towel maybe completely. There are people who have decided I can't do this. This is really hard. This is hard on a daily basis, and I will agree with you. I'm not going to disagree about that. We've all had our tough days. We've had our angry days. We've had our days where we're just flat out exhausted. We're out of gas. How do you recharge? There's a couple of ways that you can do that. You need to stay grounded. You need to keep focusing on your love and focusing on what you want and not what you don't want. You don't want any of the chaos. You leave it to the others who are probably still in their indigo way uh, in order to bust out those systems. You have to emulate until you can actually feel it. Somebody that you admire who manages to skirt around these things. And you feel within and be your authentic self. When you need to speak up, trust that you'll be protected and that it's absolutely your truth that you're going with and you're loving yourself. You ground yourself uh, with keeping things clean and clear. That means your house, your body, your, you, the entire temple of your soul. You're keeping that clean. Where you live, your clothing, you know, change it up. Take a bath. Treat yourself to some sea salt or just some salt in a bath. Go out in nature when you can. That hasn't been easy with some of the weather we've had. Make love only to yourself. You might feel that you're very open, and a lot of you are very open, especially in uh, certain areas of your body. But that means you have to be the master of your own sexual energy because that is sacred sexual energy. You are pulling that from source. That's for your true love. That is not for just anybody. And I'll say here again that this is all about love. So your destiny is to be in love. Your free will is choosing to be in love because you willed it here. You made the decision. You made a plan to return once you had explored. So your free will is always the will of God because the will of the God that you are is to return to the love from whence you came. It's passionate, it's fiery, it's sweet, it's gentle, it's romantic, it's a complete partnership, it's intimacy, 
and divinity on a level that really has not been experienced here on earth by many people and for a very, very, very long time. So I encourage you to, if you don't know what to do, do nothing, okay? Do nothing. If nothing else, stay still. Receive. If you're not clear on something, ask your guides to make it absolutely clear to you. You'll get it. You'll get it in a commercial. You'll see it in a magazine. You'll see it on a road sign. You'll hear it out of someone's mouth at a grocery store. But you will know because you'll be on hyper-awareness for this. Many of you are hyper-aware of what we're doing and where we're going with it and what we need to do. And you have an urgency about it. But let me tell you something. One of you knows you have to go, and one of you knows you have to return to bring what we're bringing. And together, you'll know the timing of it. So for some of you, the appropriate question is not, where is my twin, or what is my twin thinking? It is, when is your twin? And know that if you've wished it and willed it, it's yours and it already exists and you're just bringing it here thank you so much for watching I can be contacted at my website have a wonderful day and remember to not just say you love but practice the love that we are bye now